video is going to be a user manual for this injection molding machine. I thought a visual demonstration would be easier to follow than a written format on the website. Uh, the most important part of the machine is this injection cylinder. It is hydraulic. Uh, it is hydraulically driven, I would say. So what happens is there is an air motor on the bottom of this cylinder that circulates the hydraulic fluid for it to inject. And the air motor is driven by this air hose and the valve that you would connect to the air compressor. The advantage of this is actually almost unlimited duty cycle once you have your air compressor running. And also you can regulate the injection pressure. If you regulate the uh, air pressure, which is proportional to the hydraulic pressure. And you can also regulate the air, the air uh, flow rate. That will also regulate hydraulic flow rate and you can actually uh, regulate the speed of the piston injecting, uh, slow it down or speed it up. Also, if you have intricate parts to inject or if you don't have an air compressor, you can also use this handle. And this handle allows manual operation and you can actually feel the plastic going in in case you have a part that, uh, that is very intricate or a mold that's very small and you might be afraid to split it if you use an air compressor. And it is released by this uh, hydraulic valve. And the springs help to push it up. And there's a hopper that holds about two pounds of material. And you'll fill it up to about here. And inside the hopper, there is an injection tube that's uh, contained the injection barrel. So injection tube right here has a hole on the bottom uh, that the material falls into. Once you retract the piston, the hole opens up for the material to fall in. Uh, most of the time it will fill up almost completely by gravity alone, although sometimes you might need to use uh, a spoon or a spatula to uh, help push it in. The next part of the machine is this temperature controller. It is actually a self-contained unit and it is controlled by a switch. It's a simple on and off switch. Then you will plug it in into a regular 120 volt uh, outlet right here. And then it is operated by this self-contained PID computer controller. Uh, so on this controller you have two values. One is the set value that you would set uh, using this up and down arrows. And the second value is the actual temperature displayed from the reading of a thermocouple inside the unit. So once you set your uh, set value, the computer strives to equalize the temperatures and bring the actual temperature of the machine as close to the set value as possible. You can read them and then you'll know when the unit is ready to inject or when it should uh, be allowed more time to heat up before the next cycle. Then there is a clamping mechanism that's comprised of another hydraulic cylinder, just like the one at the top. The only difference is that it's manually operated instead of, instead of air hydraulically driven. And the reason for that is safety and also cable over molding. If you have a mold with a cable sticking out and hanging off one side, you would naturally want to hold it by hand so it wouldn't split under the weight of cable. So you'll be holding it with one hand and tightening up the clamp with the other. This allows a safe operation with only one operator. And also there is a safety shield to uh, protect the operator after uh, the mold has been secured in the place. Next, I'll show you how to align the mold with the machine. Uh, this is a typical mold that's rectangular that uh, fits nicely in this machine. And this is a hole that's called a sprue opening. And from here, the plastic enters inside the mold. And there's a nozzle right there in the machine that the plastic gets pushed out from and it's lined up with a sprue opening and that way the mold and the machine communicate. Uh, you should uh, wear gloves for this as the nozzle gets very hot but right now the machine is off so I'll just demonstrate how it works. Uh, you would put this mold right here on the clamping plate and then you would inject a little bit of plastic for it to drip out just a tiny bit from the nozzle so you can see it. And then you'll take a flashlight and you would shine in this gap between the mold and the nozzle and you would wiggle the mold until you can see the sprue opening is lined up with that little bit of a dribbling plastic from the nozzle. And then you would secure your clamp.
just like this. And once you have it secured, there is a jig on the bottom that hugs the mold to make sure it goes in and out in the same exact spot. So you only have to uh, align it one time. And how to set that jig, I'm going to show next. And this is the back of the unit, and this is the jig I was talking about to secure the mold so it goes in in the same position. So what you would do is you would loosen up this nuts, and then you would maneuver this jig until it's adjacent to the mold, right here. And you will hold it like this, and then you will just tighten this nut on both sides. So it stays in position relative to the mold. And once you do that, there are two tabs on both sides that secure the left and the right parts of the mold. And you would wiggle those until they're uh, adjacent to the mold on, on the sides. And you hold in one hand and then, uh, and then tighten up the nut. And then you can uh, use a wrench to make it tight. And also, when you tighten those nuts, tighten them evenly on the left and the right sides so the triangle does not get out of alignment relative to the mold. So now you have the machine all set up and you're injecting your parts and you're ready to take out the mold. And these handles actually accommodate that to quickly release uh, the mold clamping mechanism. And the way this works, it works based on a pivotal motion. That pressing down of these handles generates the momentum and a moment force pushes down on this uh, hydraulic plunger. And the way that works, there are two nuts right here, as you can see. They go on the bottom of this clamping plate. So you would tighten them up about a quarter to half inch uh, relative to the bottom of this clamping plate. And what that does, it allows your clamping uh, plate to open up only a very limited amount. So you don't have to pump um, the cylinder all the way up. So what will happen, you would open your hydraulic valve like this and then press down on the handles. And with a pivotal motion, the clamp quickly and automatically opens up and you can retrieve your mold. Again, please uh, wear a glove. I'm just showing this uh, as a demonstration. And um, this, uh, this is how it works right here. And that is why the holes are a little bit oversized on both sides so you can pivot. Um, on the end of this hydraulic cylinder. And this concludes the user manual of this injection molding machine. As you see, it's very simple to operate, and this about just everything you need to know to really get started in the injection molding uh, with this unit. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please email me or uh, call me with any questions. Have a good day.